We're going to continue with the writing and talk about Manor, Inc., library-based youth-led news with Peggy Johansson, director of the Livingston Manor Free Library in New York. Uh, Peggy, it looks like you're all good to go. Okay. Can you hear me okay? Yep, coming through. Hello? You're all set. Okay, great. Good afternoon. My name is Peggy Johansson. I'm the director of the Livingston Manor Free Library in Livingston Manor, New York. Our library service serves a district of 2,700 people. We generally have two staff members on in our three-room library located in the southern part of the beautiful Catskill Mountains, about two and a half hours from New York City. I'm very glad to present our library-based youth-led newspaper, Manor Inc. And as long as my screen will forward, I will do that. Okay, let's... Let's, um, there we go, okay, and I'm going to let our editors, our young editors, introduce themselves. My name is Jen Hulgren. My name is Tyler Young. My name is Brenda Spartan. My name is Nathaniel DePaul. And we are the editors of oh, Manor the paper is a collaborative effort among the library, the Community Reporting Alliance, a regionally based nonprofit whose mission is to support local news media, and the residents and businesses of our area who have enthusiastically supported this project. Okay, we are online in social media and in print. We teach news gathering and presentation skills. Here, Jem and Tyler are interviewing the head of admissions of Sullivan County Community College. We set out to fill a gap. Our community newspaper was shut down in the poor economy of 2009. The high school newspaper was shut down at about the same time for the same reason, economics. In the process of developing the library's long-range plan in 2011, our visioning committee invited residents to discuss how they would like to see the library interface with the community. During that process, Jamie Helper, mother of three and a frequent library visitor, stated, we need a town newspaper. Why not start a community-wide newspaper led by teens run from the library? Jamie felt that the young people in our community needed extracurricular activities outside of the school that would provide them with skills for future employment. The idea was embraced by the committee and written into the long-range plan. Work began on it last winter. Barbara Grepp of the Community Reporting Alliance came on board immediately and made contact with Carolyn Bivens, pictured here, publisher of the former town crier. They provided the knowledge needed to run a paper. Promotional flyers were put out in town and in the school to attract kids. It began with about eight young teens, and they helped spread the word. Soon we were getting 12 to 15 kids at each meeting. This flyer is one we actually used after we had printed a few issues, as you can see by the cover photos. Before we were in print, we had a website created by the staff simple and to the point at a cost of $40. We use Weebly to make the website. We upgraded to Weebly Pro, and here's a screenshot of the website today. Our first print edition came out last June. This photo was taken when we distributed our third issue in August. We covered Triumph. We've covered tragedy. Unfortunately, both of these photos were taken within a block of the library over the past year. Following both flood and fire, the community realized the value of a local newspaper, and the kids involved with reporting and photographing these stories came to comprehend these tragedies on an adult level. In our first issue, we did a story called Imagine Manor in which kids interviewed other kids and adults about what they would like to see in our town. Now they are delving into that concept with stories on the community's process of envisioning a new future through formal planning workshops. 
this is the cover of our most recent paper. Staff members cover town and school board meetings. Brandon serves as a liaison with the library board. John's mother reports that his English grades have improved considerably since he's been involved with Manor Inc. and we can see the evidence in his writing. But the kids also compiled the fun page of happiness for each issue with puzzles, drawings, song lyrics, and reviews of books and movies. At each meeting, we have between three and five adult mentors. Mentors encourage, nudge, suggest, proof, and help in many other ways. As a librarian, I attend each weekly meeting, so I'm often running out to, care, to take care of library business. I work closely with individuals on stories, oversee bookkeeping, provide library resources, submit library press releases and calendar listings to the editors, and coordinate activities as needed. How does this happen financially? More than 20 community businesses advertise regularly. Many people donate. Even more people buy our papers at our distribution sites on Main Street and beyond. Business card size ads are $20 a piece. Kelly was a new member when I handed her the camera and said, let's go downtown and interview Maria. Now you may notice the audio and video timing don't match in this format, but let's see if we can get it going here. I apologize if the audio and video don't line up, but I think it's a worthwhile video, so let's give it a shot and get it back. How do you feel about Manor Inc. and how it's affected the community? How Manor Inc. Yes. Well, personally, I find it very important. And I, I work here in the store, and people come and talk to me. People are not here all the time. They don't really know what's happening. Okay, I think we're gonna we're gonna abandon that one. Um, that was uh, one of the uh, women who works in the store downtown, and, and uh, she was speaking enthusiastically about the newspaper and the response she gets when she talks to her customers about it. And uh, that was Kelly's first time filming and and uh, doing a live interview like that, and actually it worked out quite well if you could have seen the original video. So. Manor Inc. has empowered its young staff to find and use their voices, has shown us that local news uh, is an important part of the, the glue of a community, and it has also been a vehicle to highlight library services. The staff and I would be glad to answer any questions you may have. Please send them to mannerinc at yahoo.com. If you would like to receive a paper copy of the next edition, Please include your mailing address. Ooh. Thank you. Ooh. Nice. All right. I would well, love to see it. Great. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, you might get a lot of things. Sounds so fabulous. Yeah. Really. <laughs> yeah. That was oh, great. great. Yeah. Um, Time for one. We question. do just have a couple of questions. How many pages are in an average issue, and where does it get printed? Who does the? How does it? Get, okay. Where is it being printed by? Sure. We started out as an eight-page paper, and we um, after a couple of issues, we went to twelve. And that's because we were selling enough advertising, and the advertising proceeds cover the cost of printing, and it's printed at the same press that prints our daily paper in the area. And I, I'm not sure if I mentioned that this comes out monthly. Okay. Great. Great. Yeah, thank you. And uh, we'll be sure to get that video from uh, Peggy, and we'll post it on the website so, so everybody can watch it. We'll, we'll, we'll yeah. get that. Go through. Sometimes videos work through this system, and sometimes they don't. So, Peggy, thank you very much for that. Uh, it was wonder. Sounds like a wonderful project.